Right, we are now on question number 12. This is in line with integration by substitution. This question is carrying 8 marks. Right. We are given u is equal to x cubed plus 4 and the limits from 12 up to 31. They want you to integrate 5x squared divided by x cubed plus 4 to the power of half. Give your answer to three decimal places. 8 marks. Right. So for this question of substitution, you follow the stages, right? So we have stage one. On stage one, the goal is to make the X the subject of formula, right? So to make the X the subject of formula, you simply differentiate the given substitution. So you are going to find du over dx. I hope you are following class. du uh, over dx. So derivative of uh, x cubed, you get 3x squared. Right? Then derivative of 4, it gives you 0. Why? 4 is a constant term. Right? So after that, you are going to cross multiply. Get du is equals to 3x squared dx. So to then make dx the subject, divide both sides by 3x squared. So you get du over 3x squared is equals to, to dx. So this is the first stage. Then we move on to stage number two. Stage number two is the stage of change of limits. We want to change the limits from x to u. So I'm going to put a table. The original limits of x are going to be changed to find the new limits for u. So remember, we have 31 and 12, right? So to find the new limits for u, we are going to put that one into the given substitution. Uh, u is equals to x cubed plus 4. You get u is equals to that one cubed uh, plus 4. So that one cubed uh, plus 4, you get 29,795, which is the new upper limit. I hope you are following class. Then now, Placing 12 on x, you get u is equals to 12 cubed plus 4. So 12 cubed plus 4 is equals to 17, uh, 32. Right. Now that we are through with the change of limits, we move on to the third stage, which is the substitution itself. We start by replacing or we start by swapping the x limits with the new u limits. So on that one, we are now putting 29,795. Then on 12, you put 17, 32, which is the new lower limit. I hope you are following, right? So here, you have 5 uh, x squared. You leave it like that. It is going to set off with the the x which was made the subject. Uh, I think you are going to see it when we read that stage. So you can leave it like that. Right? Then you are given x cubed plus 4. Where x cubed plus 4 is the u. So it means your denominator is going to become u to the power of half. So you write u to the power of half. Then on dx the here. We are going to substitute the dx that we have made the subject in stage 1. So I'm going to multiply by du over uh, 3x squared. So this is what I was trying to say that the x squared is going to cancel off with the, with the x squared. Uh, something like this. I hope you are following class. Right. So I can factor out 5 over 3. Outside the integral, having 29, 
795 is the upper limit, 1732 is the lower limit. So here you'll be left out with 1 over u to the power of half, which is good as u to the power of minus half du. I hope you are following class. Good. Right, so let us integrate. So remember, when integrating, you are going to add this original power by 1, then you divide everything by the new power, which is going to become half. Do not forget that we have 5 over 3 outside. Our upper limit, 29,795. Our lower limit, 1732. I hope you are following class. So if you divide by half, it's good as multiplying by 2. So you write 2 u to the power of half. Since minus half plus 1, you get half, which is good as square root uh, of u. Right. So to find the answer, you are now saying 5 over 3, open bracket, 2 square root. 29, 7, 9, uh, 5, close bracket, because u to the power of half is good to the square root of u. So you are putting the upper limit in the square root of u. You get this as your first substitution. Minus 5 over 3, open bracket 2, square root of 17, uh, 32. So I'm going to punch everything. Uh, in the calculator and give my answer to decimal places required. So they want you to give your answer to three decimal places. So let me punch. 10 divided by 3 square root 29,795. Right, minus 10 divided by 3 square root of 17.32. You get 436,6499. So, to three decimal places, you get 436,6499. One, two, three. So it becomes six, five, zero. To three decimal places required. Then you get yourself eight marks. Then you are home and dry. I hope you are following class.